Okay. Well, good morning. Um, and happy Valentine's Day. We uh, we're gonna try to celebrate it with all of our loves tonight against Raytown. So hopefully you guys can come and join us and have some fun together. Um, we we're coming off a, a hopefully some momentum. Um, last Friday went over to Liberty and um, played one of our better, if not our best game of the year against a really good team on their home floor. Um, able to get the win, 72-63, um, get our second conference win. Um, but more importantly, um, you know, we, we played well and we haven't played well for a while. So um, creating a little bit of momentum, um, playing well is hopefully something that now as the season gets winding down, you know, we only have two full weeks left until district play starts. So. We're hoping that we can play our best basketball right now when it matters the most, and 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 let's hope that Friday gave us gave us some some momentum that way. Um, during Friday's game, um, for goal, Dominic had had a heck of a game and uh, had 29 points, and, and in those 29 points were seven made threes, and so the previous school record was six. So Dom set a school record for made threes, um, was seven in a game, and then he is four away from tying, five away from breaking the career three-point make record um, that is held by Jake Hansen. Jake held both the single game and the, and the career. Um, and so Dom's looking, looking to break those, which is just quite an accomplishment, obviously, over the course of your career to be able to hit uh, to be able to hit one in a varsity game, nonetheless, you know, over 100 is pretty impressive. So. Um, we're happy for him. Uh, you know, he, he's playing well. When he plays well, our team plays well. Um, the 72 points we scored were the most that we've scored all year. Um, so hopefully we can get going because offensively is where we've struggled the most. Um, but if we can get going a little bit offensively, then, then hopefully things will balance out for us. So Raytown comes in tonight. Um, they're undefeated in conference at 7-0. and um, a really, really, really good team. Really good team. Um, so we're going to have our hands full and, and going to have to play well. Um, and then obviously Friday, um, with this being court warming week, will be our court warming game. Girls, guys, double hitter with with Sherman, um, and and we're excited about that because we know that we know we'll have a good crowd tonight after the momentum, hopefully from Friday, and then and then obviously court warming always draws well, and and we're hoping that we can feed off the energy um, of our crowd. So with that, turn it over to you guys for questions. Uh, Coach, you talked about Dom's 29 points on uh, Friday. Uh, what kind of effect does that have, not only on the scoreboard, but also with like the confidence of the team overall? Yeah, well, I mean, you've seen us play enough this year, Jack. I think you you see how it changes everybody else. Everybody else kind of relaxes because they know that, that he's somebody that can get us points and get us some buckets when we need them. So I think everybody kind of relaxes a little bit um, when, he, when he scores it the way he does. Um, the thing that I was most impressed of, most impressed about was he had four non threes that he made, um, and and he didn't force. He forced one shot all night, and honestly, it was a play that was called for him. So, you know, the fact that he took it wasn't wasn't completely um, out of there. But but um, when he gets going, um, then it, it lets the other guys play more to their strengths. Um, but you know, he had 14 on Tuesday night against Park Hill South and um, was in foul trouble. And so he played limited minutes um, against them. So, you know, his last two games, he's gone 14 and 29, and, and he's averaging on the year about 11 and a half. So let's, let's hope that it's a little bit more than a season average the rest of the way to carry us. Uh, in your opinion, in the past few games, are there any particular players who have like really stepped up to show their teamwork and capability of helping? Well, I mean, you know, we're talking about Dom, and he deserves the credit for, for scoring the ball the way he has. Um, but there's two guys who, who play a different role throughout the year who on Friday night specifically really did a nice job, and that's Zane Brown and Michaela Hughes. Um, James Perry's battling a little injury, and so he wasn't quite at 100%. And so we knew that his minutes would be more limited. And then when his minutes got limited and Tyson got in foul trouble, we had to go with McCaleb for an extended period of time. And he played, you know, 19, 20 minutes and, and played well. But then I think the real spark of the game came from Zane. Um, came off the bench, um, hit a couple shots, got a steal, a great and one that started some momentum for us. So those two guys, we know that they're good players. They're juniors who haven't played a ton. And now that they're starting to play more, hopefully get more confidence. Um, with this Friday being the courtroom game, is there any added pressure or stress on you guys? Um, right now, everything is really stressful. 
um, because when, when, you, when you're 10 and 11 and 2 and 5 in the league, you're not performing the way that you want to. Um, our guys will probably put more pressure on themselves, yes, because of the crowd, because of the anticipation of it, but hopefully coming off Friday, playing on the road against a 16-win team at their place, a really good team, um, and to play well, I think that's quite a bit of pressure too. So when you get to mid to late February into March, um, there's pressure every single day to make sure that you're you know, preparing the right way, that you're playing the right way. So um, hopefully the pressure throughout the year will help us um, in our performance Friday. Now these kids being the first freshmen that came into Liberty North, you know, coming in the first team, do you feel as a coach you feel more connected to this team than you have any other team just because that they have been here longer? Yeah, that's a really good question, really good point. Um, so what, what's different about it is I would want you to ask them that question because to me, my interactions with them uh, might have been a little bit more in frequent in, in visual interaction with them, um, but but the same basketball activities, team activities, isn't too different um, when the guys were weren't in the building. Um, but where I think it's different and, and makes a positive impact is the way that they're able to interact with teammates because they see them more, they sit in class with them more. The, the freshmen, sophomores can interact more easily with maybe the junior and seniors. Um, so I think for, for Nick, for Dom, for Nate, for Jarrett, um, being here gives them more of a uh, ability to, to build some relationships, to be more noticeable and visual around the school. Um, but, but undoubtedly there is comfort with being here all four years, not having to transition. Raytown is a very good team. And you guys have already played them once this year on the road, and you guys played a very close game with them. Mm -hmm. um, can you just kind of speak on how it's different um, going into this game and how it was that game and how you guys might have a little more confidence? Well, so so here, Peyton, we, we go to Raytown um, after coming off a game where we just got beat by like 40 by North Kansas City. Um, so I wasn't quite sure how we were going to respond. Then when we do that, we're without Coleman, who this is when he started getting sick and injured. And then third quarter, minute to go, Robbie turns his ankle and his out. So we got hit with quite a bit of adversity in it, yet still had the ball uh, up four, late third quarter, early fourth. So I, I feel confident that we will play better, we will play more, we have more um, um, confidence after seeing them th one time through. However, if I'm Raytown, I'm probably thinking, boy, we played really bad the first time we saw them. Um, we're better than we played. We need to show them what we're capable of. So I think that, that the approach is is if you get too, I don't know, focused or too, too uh, locked in on what you think the perception of the game might be because of past um, performance, then that's when you start to get in trouble. So, so our preparation, our focus, and the way that we execute tonight is what's going to give us the best chance. We've got a few things in the back of our head from the first time we've played them, but, but so do they, would be my guess. Also, can you talk about the development of Tyson Cathy throughout this year? It seems like as the year goes on, he's gaining more and more confidence. Yeah, yeah. So, so Tyson um, has a chance to be a really, really, really good player. So. Um, we have more confidence in Tyson than I think Tyson has in himself. Um, we think he's a really, really good player. And as he's getting better throughout the year, he's doing it because he's playing against guys that are bigger, that are stronger, that are playing at a consistent speed. Whereas I had to keep reminding myself as talented as Tyson is, um, you know, he was only, he's only played 21 varsity games. And, and so I was, probably pushing him a little too hard and too quick early to have him perform like a more veteran seasoned player. Um, but he has the skill, he has the athleticism, um, he's going to develop the strength um, to really be a really, really good player for us. And, and we aren't um, holding our breath on that, that it's going to be in a couple years. We're hopeful that it's going to be um, right now and continue to be, continue to be right now. Um, with that, I'll wrap it up. I appreciate you guys coming in, uh, visiting. Um, you know, when we visit next week, it'll be the last week of the regular season, um, which is which is really hard to believe. And then we'll start getting into to district playoff talk and 
all the things that come with that. But um, we're excited that, that three of our last four are at home before the playoffs start um, because we know the home court does give us an advantage. Um, our crowd gives us an advantage, and we look forward to seeing seeing a great crowd out starting tonight with Raytown and then, and then Friday at court warming. And then we'll hook up and, and talk with you guys next week. Thanks.